Everybody shout a big hallelujah. You will not end up being a former mother. In this your lifetime, you will not end up becoming a former mother. And while your children are making progress, you will not be represented. On their wedding day, they will not be honoring you posthumously. With your own plate like this, you will collect your food. If you believe it, shout a bolder amen. amen. Let's give the Lord Jesus a big hand, a big hand. And you may please be seated. And I thank God for everyone that is here. You will last. And I pray for you, make sure your amen is very loud. It will not suddenly finish for you. Your music will not suddenly stop. Amen. Cancer will not stop it. Amen. What stops mothers will not stop it. Amen. You will finish well. Amen. You will finish strong. Amen. And it shall continually be well with you. Amen. Let your amen be a resounding one. theme for this year's Mother's Summit is, my seed is graced for purpose. And that's a heavy one. And my daughter in love that ministered a few minutes ago, took us to a dimension, a particular dimension concerning that theme. That the Lord will regrace us that's a powerful one. That will be regraced. That's why when you drive a car, you drive and drive and drive. Even an aircraft, you take it for refueling. That Jehovah will regrace us and look into our lives and see where we are empty. And the lives of our children too. And grace will be poured. In our ministry, this year is declared by my bishop as our year of mega grace. So everything about us is grace, grace, grace. When I get home and my fridge is misbehaving, I just say grace. Grace to it. It's my personal decision. That's what I've been doing since the year I began. Grace. Because Zechariah chapter 4 says, cry grace, grace to it. It's a simplifier. The children's lives will be simplified in the name of Jesus. Few minutes and I'll be done. But if you are trusting God for the blessing of the womb, it's one of the graces on my life. Or your child, or someone that is your blood relation, or someone you love. Please come to the altar and receive. He will do it again. God will do it again. He will do it. Oh, yes. He will do it again. Just take a look at where you are now. And where you've been Has it always come true For you It's the same now as then Don't you know God cannot change You may not know how And you may not know when But he will do it again Don't you know God can not change you may not know how and you may not know when you will do it again the spirit of the Lord
Lord just spoke to me that, that all of you that came out, listen, whoever you are representing or even if you are representing yourself, just a tiny percentage will have one child, one. Most will have twins. Triplets. That's what the Lord just said to me now. Most will have twins or triplets. And on your behalf, I receive in the name of Jesus. And I distribute your inheritances for you. Stretch your hand and receive your babies. As the Lord God of Israel liveth, by this time next year, if Jesus tarries, you will come and testify. Either heavily pregnant or carrying the babies. And it will be to the glory of Jehovah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's dance. Let's dance. Carry the baby very well. Let's dance. Let's dance. Like two, three minutes. That's how we walk. The work of faith. Is the choir on leave? Come and say the Lord is good. Say the Lord is good. Carry your baby in your hands. There is nothing you cannot do. Come and say the Lord is good. Oh, baby, Come and say the Lord is good. Come and say the Lord is good. The spirit, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, Tayero, we call she, she, we are sure, she, we are no baby, shoulder one here one here or your back as you dance back to your seat ijo amo moji fowura mi jo abi amo face of age and should be married the on time God is here come and present that child before the Lord by this time next year Lord I want to see <laughs> my children's homes and if it is you to come those of you that came out earlier if the Lord leads you to go and do IVF perfect it's okay there's nothing wrong with it and if you need assistance, you need to know where to go. Come and see me. I will guide you. Receive correct husbands, correct wives. In the name of Jesus Christ. One 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 Well with you in the evening of your life. 
Whenever your children marry, get tears of sorrow. God will magnify his mercy in your direction. By this time next year, you will testify. Our dear Elu, emergency. Three weddings in one year. Two weddings in one year. One wedding, one year. Grace speaks in the name of Jesus. Come on, stand up and rejoice and shout hallelujah. Come back. You cannot go like that. You don't go like that before the Lord. You don't walk out on God. You rejoice. You dance. You dance. Dance as if it's the wedding night. <laughs> Your child is schooling abroad. Come out. I feel led to pray for you. Your biological child. Don't stand in for anybody. If your child is abroad, schooling or living abroad, I want to pray with you. I'm not sure I've ever done this. I'm one of you. If your child, your biological child, please don't, don't represent anybody. That's what I picked in my spirit. Your child is abroad. Father, you give these children to us. We come before you. Wherever they are at this moment, preserve them. I divert every evil arrow. We will hear only good news. They went alive. They will never return as corpses. Whatever has their signature shall be preserved by God's grace. Jehovah will multiply them. They will not return like Naomi. Every time you pick your phone or your email or whatever to hear from them, it will be joy, joy, joy. I cancel every intention of the devil. The children are kept. And underneath their lives remain the everlasting house. And when every time they come back, either coming back finally or just visiting, they will not come back because you have a negative emergency. They will not be looking for tickets by all means because you are sick. No. No, 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 no. We say no to every evil news. All shall be well. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Rejoice and give the Lord praise. Celebrate him. He's worthy of our praise. Everybody please be upstanding. We're going to be closing very soon. I want to lead you to pray. I want to lead you to fight. The next few minutes. I want to lead you to fight. My seed is graced for purpose. And I want to use the life of Samson to guide you to pray. Samson was one of the very few people in the Bible that God prophesied their destiny before they were born. Their purpose, they didn't even need to be looking for it. It was spelt out. In Judges chapter 13, verse 5, you see his purpose there. For lo, thou shalt conceive and bear his son. Judges 13, 5. And no razor shall come on his head. For the child shall be a Nazarite unto God from the womb. And he shall begin. That was his purpose. To deliver Israel 
out of the hand of the Philistines. God spelt it out. And he began to do it for years and years until he met Delilah. I want to lead you to pray. A few minutes, I'm done. He fulfilled his, he began to fulfill his purpose until somebody came into his life. Cursed be the day Delilah met Samson. Cursed be whoever introduced them. Cursed be the event that took place that day. Because she erased him forever. He was graced for purpose. She disgraced him out of purpose. And we still have her tribe in the world. Looking for precious lives. Looking for who to waste. When a woman had labored, you know what it means to be pregnant. A lady just shared her testimony. You know what it means to carry your child. You know what it means? Sleepless nights. Eat your panado. Eat your this. You prefer not to eat sometimes just to when you were cooking, you know how some things burnt your hand just for the child to shall have something. And then, while the child was fulfilling purpose, he or she meets somebody. Somebody is introduced that will eventually disgrace the child out of purpose. I'm a teacher, but I'm not talking about that today. I'm glad you know, we've had something about his purpose, the intention, the only reason why you are living. Everybody has only one reason, one purpose. Everybody. It can have A, B, C, D, E, but you should be able to say in one statement, sometimes in one word, your purpose. I know my own. To empower women. That's it. That's why I'm living. Under it can have mother summit, it can have coaching, it can have this, it can have that. That's the reason. That's why your child came. I want you to pray against the things I'm going to be mentioning. Number one is purpose eaters. That one is very serious. They eat and wipe their mouth. You don't even know that they are the ones doing you. <laughs> and they are still greeting you. And helping to eh, yeah, we are praying. Oh, ah, we are praying, but they are behind it. Drop your notes. You can watch what I'm saying now. On everything we've done today is on YouTube. When I tell you to pray, that's not the time to be writing. When you go and watch it, you will now make your notes. This one is to fight. Do your spiritual lodger. Few minutes that I have now. Whoever it may be, whatever it may be. That wants to eat up the purpose for which my children are living. Or go I fight on behalf of my children. Purpose eaters. You know disgrace, the lilas. It may be a person, it may be a thing, it may be a situation. I come against you in the name of Jesus. I am the mother. Therefore, I have the legal right to fight. I have the legal right to fight over my children. The Felix are Children, grandchildren, their spouses. Purpose eaters. I destroy your intention. I come against you in the loss of my children. Over their ministries. Over their marriages. Over their children. Over their health. Their relationship with God. Over their finances. Over their destinies. You will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. 
Number two, when Delilah got to a point in Samson's life, she manipulated Samson out of purpose and shaved his hair. We want to come against purpose changers. When they step into somebody's life, the person becomes confused. I come and look shy, just because what, what did God call you to do? I don't even know. I thought it was this, then he will do this one, drop it, do that one. I come against purpose changers. Pray, oh, pray, oh, ushers. My children's purposes shall not be changed by anybody, by any situation. I cause Delilah, I cause the ministry of Delilah in the name of Jesus, whether you are a person or a situation. Ah, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. We want to come against delay. Samson was in that house maybe for days or for whiskey loan shimpe. What was he doing there? And the girl will say, if you say you love me, tell me your secret. Wasted his time. At a point, he even placed his head on her laps. Causing delay. What the child should have accomplished. He wasted his time in Delilah's house. If a child is repeating class, it's delay. If a child does not get married until she's 43, it's delay because it's cumulative. By the time the child starts raising the kids, even if she has 15 children at a time, you are already old. So, the effect bounces back on you. I want you to come against delay. Push your children into destiny on time, on time, on time, on time. Pray a few more minutes. We are done. Every form of delay. Academic, marital, ministry, career. I come against you. My seed is graced for purpose. I push you into your purposes. All of you, in the name of Jesus, whatever is delay your destinies, I stop it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Now we want to come against diversion of purpose. Diversion. You see, men are at work. Road diversion. Too many people have been diverted from their original intent and purpose. And the angels and the help that they need waiting. Some people are living, for instance, in Australia when they should be living in Akure. I'm telling you. They are living in Dubai. What they are big They are They are doing health something. And they are saying to them, says, ah, ah. she be what's good? When they should be living in Ilana Monkey, location is important to destiny. If Mazan and I had waited in Ibado, maybe we would have even, in fact, we would have been discolored. I'm telling you, we spent how many years in Ibado? As we speak today, we don't have one plot of land in Ibado. One plot. Because our portion. God said your prosperity is in a more rural place. I don't want to live in any other place. See what God has done. Diversion. Diversion. What we are doing now is very spiritual. I'm not praying for your child though. So pray for your child. Pray for your child. Every form of diversion. That is not in the will of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stop it today. God, show me mercy. Every diversion. Where our prosperity is. Let them see it. Open the eyes of my children. Let them see. 
their destinies will not be diverted in the name of Jesus thank you father in the name of Jesus we have prayed I was preaching about it yesterday night and I said in 2023 you have to be so intentional you don't need more friends in 2023 you only need more collaborators people that will collaborate with you and take you to quarters that matter you don't, some of you the number of friends you have is the one killing you friends that they are extra weights jealous of you, misguiding you, misleading you, friend. What you need in 2023 is not more friends. It's more collaborators. People that will do anything just to make sure life is comfortable. I was telling them in church recently that last week somebody sent a message to me and said, Mommy, please, Manage the six, these 60 pairs of shoes that I'm sending to you and sent me the video. Everything in cotton, ribbon. I think I've taken only one out of it. It's still there. What pained me is that I just spent a preparation for my birthday. I don't want to tell you how much I spent. I told one of my daughters. Uh -uh. Oh, when the spirit caught his sign, can he tell you, tell you? Two days after, she sent me 60 pairs of shoes. Six zero. And I saw someone in the band yesterday, and I said, So and so sent me 60. He said, Ma, that person started shopping for you six months ago. I was just enjoying my life. That's what I'm talking about collaborators. You don't even know anything. For your sake, they will go to the market. For your children's sake, they become income. Do you know what happens in is it first, second Samuel 18? No, first Samuel 18. The Bible says, and Jonathan removed his girdle. Removed his belt. Removed his garment. And gave to David, his sword, his bow, he became vulnerable. In case there was an attack, who will defend him? Gave everything to David. First Samuel 18, Jonathan took up the robe that was on him, a royal one, a regal one, and gave it to David with his armor, even to his sword and his bow. These are the kind of people you need in your life, not gossips. Waste your time. This is what your children need to. So I wanted to pray for destiny or purpose enhancers. Please, as you pray for your children, pray for yourself. You know, people that step up enhanced. Oh, come and step up, shine. Just because they're in your life. Receive them for yourself and your children. Purpose enhancers. In 2023, they will locate you and your children. Number two, helpers of destiny. Wherever they may be on this planet earth, I bring them across your path and the path of your children. Collaborators, I receive them for you and for your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shout one resounding amen. Amen. You see the way I'm smiling. All of you know that I went back to school full time to study law. Listen, oh, my first week in school, I was asking myself, who sent me here? <laughs> the second week, because I live in school, I have a room. When I saw some questions that they sent, more confidential. I said, God, we the first study law you. Me, I'm very real. I will tell you how I got there. I don't get on the poop and tell you, just believe, eh? You know, you know. I tell you how I walked the walk. 
Oh, the fifty John, I just sat like this. I look and say, God. And I really, really, you know, I really want to study this law, but the way this thing is going. Then the Holy Spirit laid one particular girl on my heart. I remember my first two days, I think the second day in school, that girl walked up to me. I sat. She said to me, Excuse me, ma, you have a lecture in the other class. I didn't know I had a lecture. <laughs> you are 60. No, no. Later, I got to know that she said she and her mother had been following me back to back for ages. She's 18. That her mother, her, I've spoken to them. The man is a doctor, the wife is a matron. Fantastic family. God just planted this girl in that school for me. So I just remember the girl that reminded me that I had a class. I picked my phone, I called her. I said, I don't understand this thing at all. At all. <laughs> she said, Mommy, law is easy, don't worry. I said, easy. No, don't worry. Hear me, mothers. That girl spent only one hour with me. One hour to tutor me, to coach me. And demystified the law. As a collaborator. I was telling my husband, Adegoroye versus Adegoroye. Ngi gave versus system. Hey, he said, ah, ah. When? Since when? I said, according to Hyde versus Hyde. Yeah. My senior learned, they are here. They know what I'm talking about. Khalil versus Kaboli. Yeah. Because God sent a purpose enhancer. 18 year old. My last born is 33. Throughout this holiday, that girl is, she's been on video with me almost every day, coaching me. Mommy, it's you that we talk today. Explain this case. Who then hear me? Ask God for help. Don't, don't form. And see what God did. Some of you are looking for babies. Watch out for the people that God will send your way to introduce you to the doctor that God will use. God can use anybody. IVF, there's nothing wrong with it. Hey, you will not have CS. Says who? Is it good for you to die instead of having CS? Is CS. Where did they write in the Bible that CS, CS is a sin? Stop praying that religious stupid prayer. And don't let your children die. It is illiteracy. is good. To save the baby's life. The doctors are sent by God. It's not our fault. It's the way they raised us. But now we are knowing better. So, don't pray for 15 years waiting for a baby when you can do IVF. This is what I'm saying. And that's the final prayer. Then I think you should pray for yourself like three minutes. I want you to ask God in 2023, God send help to me, to my children, to my husband. Where you need help may not be where I need help. Purpose helpers, destiny enhancers. Lord, this mother saw me. This is one major thing I ask of you. Send help to me, Lord. Help. Help, Jehovah. I cry unto you. May the Lord do for you as you have asked him. And much more in the name of Jesus. Now I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, you will not labor in vain. When your children are succeeding, you shall not be in the grave. Your place shall not be vacant. Amen. At the junction of your children's glory, you shall not be missing. Amen. No cancer. Amen. You and your children shall not be victims of error. Amen. I 
declare it and pronounce it over you that this year will bring you joy, joy, joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you are here and you are not born again, I pray for you today that the yoke of sin be destroyed in your life. You will love God. You will serve him. And all your days, no evil will come near you. Thank you, the God that answers prayers. We rejoice as mothers today. Thank you for Mother's Summit 2023. To you alone be all the glory. To you, Lord, be all the glory. To you, aye, aye, be all the honor. To you, Oko, Ijo, be all the glory. And adoration for to you, O Lord, O God, be all the glory. Mary, Mary, O Lord, be all the honor. Ataye, O be all the glory. And adoration forevermore. Let's celebrate the King eternal, immortal, invisible. The God that is high.